In this video, I just want to show some uh, recent functionality that we've added for people that do ponds and pond design. Um, and that is the ability to kind of look at the terrain and compute the um, volume and area, basically the stage storage volume for you. Um, so in this example, I've got a, um, I've got a, a pond graded out, you know, here in my subdivision. And um, I'm just going to, you know, I've, I've created the bottom and I've come up to what I'm going to think the water elevation will be. And then I've added some freeboard and I've got a little flat berm around the edge of the pond. Um, and I put all that into a terrain model. So you can see here I've got a terrain model called pond. Um, and if you look, if I look at, for example, here's the bottom at, you know, 978 basically. And um, here's the water elevation at 982, and then the top is at you know 984. So what I want to show is, and I've also I've gone ahead and placed an outlet structure in the pond, and I've placed a headwall coming into the pond, you know, for later when I you know connect it up and do the routing. So first thing I want to do is you know look at this functionality called place pond. Um, so I'm gonna, and that's found in the drainage and utilities workflow, okay, under layout, place pond. In the past, we've had, you know, pick shape, pick points, and the flood fill option, but we've recently, in a recent version, added the from terrain model, which allows me to pick a terrain model. I can also specify um, a maximum water surface elevation, so I want it, and I'm, I've gone ahead and pre-selected that at 982 based on my pond, you know, elevation values. Um, feature definition: We deliver a feature definition in our workspace for ponds, so it draws it correctly, gets the right uh, utility properties put on it, and I'll just give that a name there. And so I'm going to use the from terrain model option. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And then I'm going to come over here in my view and pick my terrain. So you can see there's my triangles are being shown there for the pond. It does give me some feedback. It says, you know, based on that terrain that I picked, it's found 978 or 77.9 basically is the lowest point, 983 or 0.9 or 984 is the highest. And then based on my pre-selected maximum water surface, it's filled that in for me as well. I'm going to go ahead and accept that, and then I'm going to accept the uh, to select a point within the pond area, and it's going to delineate. You can see that in purple. Um, it's delineated the 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 boundary there, if you will, of the pond. Um, you can select an info element. Um, I don't have one set up yet, so you know I'm not going to select that. I can reset to you know continue to the next step. I do have that outlet. I did pre-place that, so it's sitting there. I'll go ahead and designate that as my out, outflow or outlet element. But I could also reset and skip that point as well. And then reset to, um, I'm sorry, data point to accept this purple shape. And if you look at the shape, it's gone ahead and created the shape there. And it's, you know, it's got its properties, utility properties there. And I can see now Basically, we've gone ahead and pre and filled out, based on that terrain, the physical elevation area property. Um, and you can see the values that it put in there into the table for me. So based on my, my terrain. So 1.3 acres at 977, 1.6 at 981, and a little over 1.6 at 982. The nice thing is that it, you should be able to, you know, come in here, depending on how you built your pond and what how things relate to one another, um, you could modify. So let's say, for example, I need uh, more storage, you know, based on when I do my calculations, I need more storage. So I come in here and I just, you know, I decide, okay, I'm going to wipe out these two lots um, and increase my storage. And so it increases the model, right? And it increases the um, area. 
if I go back and check my pond um, utility properties, let's see if they updated appropriately. And they did. So they're now at 1.7, 2, and 2. Again, you could drop elevation. You could, I can make it smaller, bigger. You know, you can. It depends really on how the logic you use to set up, to set up your pond. So that's kind of the new functionality that I wanted to show, and um, hope that helps.